breaking developments in the Anthony Weiner sex scandal. Earlier today, the congressman said he was taking a leave of absence to seek professional treatment at a rehab center. Despite calls for his resignation, Weiner said he will not resign. Here for reaction, author of the explosive and controversial new book, Demonic, How the Liberal Mob is Endangering America, best-selling author, Ann Coulter is here. Welcome, Ann. Thank you. Good to be here, Janine. Good to see you. Now, the most troubling part of this Wiener thing is that one of the women that he sexted was 17 years old. What do you make of that? Um, I actually don't think that's the most troubling part. I know that is technically the illegal part, although... I mean, the fact that he was contacting some of these women, coaching them on how to lie back when he had claimed he was the victim of a federal crime, I think that's a more serious crime. And that was the porn queen. He was telling the porn right. queen how she should respond to the <laughs> request. Yes, which is why um, I love that he says he's seeking professional help now. I think he's talked to a professional. <laughs> <laughs> but what about the fact that his response, in, in, when he talks about the 17-year-old, his response is that it was not explicit or indecent. Is he not speaking to the criminality of possibly sexting women who were underage? No, I think that's a great point. I mean, we knew he had been sexting with underage girls when he gave a press conference saying that as far as he knew, they were all of age. Okay, we know the underage girls are but coming now. But didn't he remind you when, it, like when he said, <laughs> with certitude I could say that it wasn't me. I mean... And now he's that? saying don't, there was nothing um, obscene about it, so I think that's what will come next. But, I mean, the difference between 17 and 18, I think the whole thing is so creepy. I think the close-up photo of his penis going around the Internet now, I don't think the fact that he did this to a 17-year-old as well as a 26-year-old is really elevating the creepiness. Well, what, what do you think of his judgment, though? What, what does that tell his constituents <laughs> who mean? apparently think he should stay? His judgment on every part. I mean, and, and also, since he has announced this... <laughs> He can't get away from a camera. Right. No, this is a sociopath, and he doesn't have he doesn't have any other job to fall back on, like most Democrats. He's just been in politics his entire life. He's not a lawyer. He has no skills. Um, he's just a politician. So if the Democrats want to get rid of him, and I uh, think they do. Well, speaking of Democrats, his wife Huma works uh, for Hillary Clinton. Uh, what do you think <laughs> Hillary is telling? Uh, uh, Ooh. Um, pretend you're pregnant. That will create sympathy. You don't believe that she's pregnant? No, I was just saying that might be the advice. But what do you think? <laughs> Look, Hillary's been through this, and Huma's very close to her. What do you think she's saying? Stay with him, don't stay with him, tell him to stay, tell him not to stay? I'm not sure what Hillary is telling Huma, but, um, Anthony also called Bill Clinton, and I think Bill asked for the, for the Twitter list. <laughs> But no, but, but in all seriousness, Anne, I mean, they say that Bill Clinton is furious about this. Do you think he is? No. You no. think he just wants to list no. the women? The porn queen, the blackjack <laughs> dealer, the, the single mom, and the underage. Yes. Do you remember the 90s with Bill Clinton? No. No. All right. No, liberals have absolutely no morals. They want to um, suppress the morals of society because it makes it easier to generate a mob. Ah, speaking of that, your new book is all about the liberal mob mentality. Do you think there's a double standard that liberals pretty much apply to Democratic leaders in sex scandals as opposed to Republican leaders? Yes, I mean, it goes well beyond double standard. That is part of mob psychology, to be able to hold two totally contradictory ideas in your head at the same time, like Anthony Weiner calling Bill Clinton, <laughs> Bill Clinton presiding at their marriage, or liberals... Um, going on and on, denouncing Republicans as, you know, misogynists. They don't care about women's rights, apparently, because we don't like the idea of the unborn being slaughtered in the womb. And yet, this is how they treat their women, from Dominique Strauss-Kahn, the socialist, Teddy Kennedy, Bill Clinton, John Edwards, and now Spitzer and, and Wiener. Um, this, this is de rigueur for them. And it's only when it hurts them politically do they care or do anything about it? I mean, manifestly, Nancy Pelosi couldn't care. They have absolutely okay. no morals. Republicans say goodbye right, and good riddance. Here's the book. Pick it up, Demonic. Coming up on Justice, how did Kaylee really die and why did it take six months to find her? Thanks, Sam.